So um, in the early uh, to mid 90s, we decided that we should uh, try to find out what all of the genes are that were um, encoded in the genomes of these parasites, uh, Leishmania and trypanosomes, which cause uh, tropical diseases and subtropical diseases. So over the next 10 years, we worked using the tools that had been developed for the human genome projects to sequence those genomes. And in the mid 2000s, we had basically finished that uh, work, which gave us really a a parts list for those um, organisms. Then uh, other scientists uh, around the world have used that information to try to develop drugs that would uh, cause those diseases, uh, those parasites to die. Uh, and so those are in the process of now moving into clinical trials. Uh, meanwhile, the basic research continues to, to develop the next round of drugs that will be needed when the parasites become resistant to the first set. So really the main problems are, are twofold. One is not very many people in, in developed countries have heard of these uh, diseases, Leishmaniasis, sleeping sickness, Chagas disease. And sort of as a consequence of that, it's actually difficult to raise sufficient money. So, um, you know, what we, we need to do is we need to spread the word uh, that these are important problems with hundreds of thousands of people dying every year. And we need to get better at, at uh, raising uh, at funds. So here at the Center for Infectious Disease Research, we're really solely focused on those type of diseases, diseases of uh, infectious diseases that really affect people in, mostly in the uh, developing world, but increasingly in, in the first world as well. So I think as the public awareness grows, there'll be more willingness to provide funds to continue both the uh, basic and the applied research. Yeah, so that's a good question. Uh, really, the two are very complementary. As I said before, we provide sort of a parts list and, and work out how the parasites uh, function and how they interact with the, with the human host. So we really, from that data, we formulate hypotheses that we then need to test in the field. And this is where epidemiologists and clinical researchers come in. We provide sort of hypotheses. They go out and find out whether we're right or whether we're wrong, we're wrong, which we often are. So we then, that new data that they generate will then feed back and uh, allow us to, to generate new hypotheses uh, and maybe make new tools, etc. Well, then, then we'll go out into the, the clinic uh, and be tested in the real world.